how did I get to be in this mess? A few days ago, me and George arrived here. Veterans of the Civil War, out of a job, and looking for new fortunes in the West. I was still young, although war ages you. George was a clever and cunning man, and I knew he'd find work somewhere. So we arrived in this little town, which seemed like a fine place to stay. We stopped by the first man we saw, and George asked him what work was to be had around these parts. No work around here, the man said. Gold's gone, boys. George seemed frustrated, said we should go get a drink. George seemed preoccupied, so I asked him what was up. George said no one would give us soldiers a job. They don't trust us. So he said we should rob the bank. And I listened to his plan, although it didn't sit right with me. I was a soldier, and I've killed, but that's different. And stealing from the innocent, it ain't right. It'll be easy, George said. No one has to get hurt, and we'll be set for life. Otherwise, we'll be stranded here. But I said no. I'm not a thief. So George stopped trying to convince me, said we should forget all about it. He even offered to buy me a drink to make amends. So I got drunk, George paying. It was barely dawn by the time we left, so the townspeople were still asleep. And I gratefully joined them. And although I didn't know it yet, my day was about to get pretty interesting. I hadn't been asleep for long when I was awakened, rudely. A man, a stranger, was pointing a gun at me and telling me to get up. So I sat up and saw that I was sitting in riches. My pockets were full of money and jewels, and I reckoned that I'd been set up good and proper. So George had robbed the bank and made me look like an accomplice. I was angry, angry at George for setting me up, angry at myself for being so stupid, and angry at my splitting head. So when I saw a chance to escape, I took it. and stepped outside to go after George. It turns out I didn't have far to look. Seems George was being pursued and was doubling back through the town. His attention wasn't on me. As easy as squeezing the trigger, I could have shot him. But instead I took him down and handed him in. So now George is to hang too, and seems he killed the guard at the bank, and they didn't believe my story of innocence, especially after the sheriff testified against me. So now we'll both take the fall for George's actions. I guess life's tough that way sometimes. Death's tougher.